So here we have our Honda Shadow 1100 uh, 2001 motorcycle with some Cobra drag pipes on it. And uh, I keep having this issue where the heel of my boot keeps uh, making contact with my pipe and these are a lot hotter than the stock pipes. So uh, it's been melting my boot a little bit. And I'm a, this probably wouldn't happen to most people where the guard is going to be protecting you. But in my case, I got some uh, um, forward control extensions for this bike. But I'm a pretty tall guy and my boot sits pretty far back here uh, with the stock setup. And anyway, um, as you can see here, kind of messy and it looks real ugly. So I thought, well, heck, you know. How can I get this off? I tried rubbing it with acetone, which got some off. You see, it kind of just smeared it around, which you know, ultimately make it quite a bit worse to clean up. But then I thought, well, you know, I do some stuff with two strokes, and I know chrome is pretty hard. So I thought, well, if I go to scratching on it with something that's, um, you know, a little bit more malleable of a metal um, versus chrome, it should. Uh, take the stuff right off without scratching it up. So uh, first thing I used was a nickel. You know, is there silver? And it works all right. Um, it kind of makes me nervous because it's closer to chrome than I'd like. But uh, what I really found which worked well was a penny. Now uh, you got to be careful. This is an old penny, so they need to be all um, copper. But uh, you know, the newer pennies, they got some steel in them. They're, they're not quite like these old ones. So this is an old 73 and it looks, um, you know, it's just, it's solid. So you're not scratching on these pipes with steel. But anyway, um, it takes it off pretty good. And what I'm actually gonna do is I'm gonna fire the bike up and let the pipes get hot. And uh, in that case, this should flake it right off. A word of caution, uh, <laughs> When I was using the acetone, I had the bike running, and for one, acetone's flammable, so that's a dumb idea in and of itself, and I'm not going to tell you how I found that out. But uh, for two, um, you know, you graze your hand on these pipes, they're 800, 1100 degrees, so um, it's pretty darn hot. So that's not what you want to do. So anyway, I'm going to fire the bike up and go scraping off. But you see even, kind of hard to do this one hand, I can't really steady myself. And, provide any force but you know I've taken this section of um, stuff off here in only about like one or two minutes before I started the video with this penny so um, anyway works pretty well alright we got the bike running Comes off real good with the, uh, obviously with the pipes hot. Alright, well that worked out better than I would have thought. So, cleaned everything off. The only spotting you see there is a little corrosion that's on the pipes. And uh, I'll probably be making another video here showing how to clean that off with some Coca-Cola. But that only took about five minutes. Had the engine running there for a little bit. Um, off and on to, um, you know, get the pipe hot so that... Uh, the shoe dope was a little bit more uh, um, easy to scrape off. But other than that, it came out real good. So uh, that's real impressive. So you can use a, a set of a penny or a nickel and should be good to go. As you can see, there is no scratches on that exhaust at all. Um, again, the only marks we have here, just a little bit of um, corrosion that's built up over time from water splashing up on it and me not having anything on here to um, protect these pipes but uh anyway yeah pretty impressive so <laughs> if you ever have people getting a bunch of shoe dope all over your pipes um go ahead and take a penny out and scrape it right off i guess worked out real well a little bit of physics goes a long way